All right, this video was supposed to have come a while ago now. The problem is I, the brightest human being to ever exist, Bruh. kind of recorded my video in FVL and the quality just went from like 1080p to zero. <laughs> so I basically had to do it again. But at least you're not getting terrible quality videos right here because you don't get that from this channel. Anyways, back to the video. You, yes, you. Have you ever watched high quality epic smash montages like mine and wondered how do they edit these well it's actually pretty simple and i'm basically going to show you through this video the results are worth it and i promise that before we start this this is a tutorial for premiere pro if you don't have premiere pro you can just get a free one. Oh, also don't don't just no I know you thought about it. I, I know you're thinking about it. Don't. Don't use iMovie to edit your videos. Don't use don't use pictures in Windows to edit your video. Don't don't do that. If you do, I'm going to hunt you down. If you want to uh, get a free one, just get DaVinci. There's plenty of tutorials on how to edit on DaVinci and it's free. So And that's a great price. Since I am cultured and I have Premiere Pro, I'm going to open Premiere Pro. And that is the first step right there. If you completed that, you're on the right track. All right, Premiere Pro, right <laughs> here. So what you wanna do is first to open your project. You want your project to have a great and epic name. One that is going to be remarkable and you're not going to forget about. So there we go, perfect. You can also change the location where your project is going to be at. I already found my own folder. You can create your own. You can also put it on desktop or something. We got the first step done. Now that that's out of the way, just click in here, new item, go to sequence and click on this one. It doesn't really matter. Wow. Sequence is ready to work with. That is so epic. Now you're probably wondering, <laughs> To get footage, there's actually a couple of ways to do it. The cheapest way to do it would be to get a micro SD card, go to replays, go to the clips you want, and convert them to videos. By the way, just take the music off so it doesn't overlap with the montage music. Once you got all of the clips, go to video editor, drop all of the clips you converted, save it, and then post it. After that, go to Nintendo Switch Online on your phone, go to the Smash Bros page, slap the white dude down there, and you should see the clip. It's easy like that. Now you just share it to your email, click on the video, and download it in a YouTube downloader. And there you have the footage. The other way to do it, like I said, would be the capture card. Just drop the footage you have on Premiere. I already have a footage from a past video and I'm going to use it once again. By the way, if you use a micro SD option, this is going to show up. Just click on keep existing settings, go to effects control and just scale and then you just go to 150 and it works. And now you have the footage right here, boys. <laughs> All right, so we have all the footage. I also took the liberty to crop them out. I'm only going to use a couple of them for this tutorial. This step is for you to actually get music and put it on the montage. Just look for non-copyrighted music and put them on. But since this is a smash montage and specifically apparently about Byleth, you should pick a soundtrack from Fire Emblem Three Houses or something, or just Fire Emblem in general. After you found the soundtrack, you just get the YouTube downloader and download the soundtrack that you want. After you got the soundtrack, just drop it right here and we have the soundtrack right there. Also, double click on this tab, the one that has the soundtrack, just double click on that and you're going to see this little line. Just drop it until you can hear that and the actual game. All right, so you got the footage, you got the soundtrack, and you mess with the soundtrack so it doesn't drown the music, it doesn't compete with the game audio. You can hear both just fine. Now, we go to the good part. The next step, as you probably have imagined it since it's in the title, it's meme time. Now we're going to add memes to it so it doesn't look very um boring. The memes that you're going to use, it's up to your imagination. The most common ones are green screen, zooms, and uh, that kind of stuff. For zooms, since it's one of the most um, known ones, let's say you just want to zoom into me taunting and being disrespectful. Just cut the part from beginning to end like that. Just click this here. And there you go. It's clipped. 
Is there an easier way to do it? Yes. Go to keyboard shortcuts, look for add edit, and just assign it to a random key. In my case, I've assigned it to Q. Therefore, if I, if I press Q on both of the timelines that I want, there you go, it cuts like magic. Epic. And there you go. You don't ever need to use this ever again. Now, to actually zoom in, you just go to position and scale in any effect controls. You just click it right here and just mess with it until you're happy with the result. I just wanted to show my lift taunting. Premiere Pro, come on. Okay, so let's see. I got the zooming in. That's basically it. Just mess with the scale and position until you're happy with the result. If you want to animate a zoom in, click on this little clock, go to the very beginning of the clip, and then just move a couple of frames, and then just mess with the scale and position again where you want it to place it, like that. There we go. Probably you're wondering how to make clip syncs, music syncs, to make it sync with the gameplay. Just let's say you want the music to start right about here, where it hits. Just simply add a mark in here by clicking here. I also assigned it as a different key, so I just press M, which is where I signed it, and you have the mark. Now you just go to the soundtrack that you want. I want it to start right about the thing right here so you just press M right here and you just place it right where the mark is there you go you have a music sync let's see there we go now that works now just really go to the clips that you want and add the zoom ins and um and stuff like that For actual memes, just download the memes that you want and place it where you want to place it. For example, let's say I want to put an extremely dead meme over here. Just go to YouTube, look for that meme and download it. After you got the meme, just go to Finder, look for where you put it. It's right here. Drop it here and drop it here. Uh, you have a couple of options here. You can mix it up. Uh, there's things like opacity, zoom ins again, like I said before. Or if you don't want the picture to show up at all, you just boom, delete it. Simple as that and you just extend it like that. Next step, you know how to Bruh. add memes? You know how to add music? You know how to add sounds? Wait, I didn't show you sounds, did I? All right, wait. To add sound effects, all you have to do is click on this little thingy, drag audio only, and drag it to the timeline where you want it to be. You don't have this anymore, it's just the audio. Now there's another one. There's another kind of meme that you're probably gonna use a lot. It's gonna be green screens. If you want to have a green screen, let's drop one right here. Say you want to add this here. This here is a green screen. How do you make it not green anymore? Go to effects, click on effects, look for ultra key. Drop it right here in the media. Go to effects control, click on this little thingy that I don't know the name. Click on the green, boom, and you don't have the green anymore. It's just a laughing emoji that is super retarded. Really simple, actually, and then you just drop it where you want to drop it. And it's as simple as that. Two hours later. I took the liberty of taking care of all of the clips, just following the same steps and just repeating them over and over again. And this is what came out. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Stupid. Uh -oh. All right, so that's basically it. I basically finished the clips that I wanted to show you. Now you just basically finish all of the clips. Add the zoom ins, add the green screens, add the soundtracks. Make sure that the audio and the soundtracks don't go too overboard. Once you're all done, you just go to file, export, and media. Or you can just press command and E. It's now you have this tab over here. For the preset, you just click on preset, go to YouTube 1080p full HD, and it's basically all ready to export. Just click on export and you just wait for it. And then when it's done, it's just gonna pop out on Finder if you selected a path for it it's going to show up there if you want to add a path to it just click on the output name thingy and go to um 
say you just want to add it to desktop, you just save it over there and export. And that is how you actually make smash montages. Simple as that. It's going to take some time for you to do the entire thing, but it's nothing too complex, nothing too complicated. If you want something a little bit more advanced for you out there, you can just tell me in the comments and I'll make one or something. That's basically all I had to talk about for editing smash montages. If you liked it, just like the video, subscribe, share it with people that you think this video is going to help or something and that's basically it i'll see you around the next video see ya